So if you are about to start an IV, I want to show you that this is the IV catheter, which is on top of the needle here. And as you can see, the catheter itself is not actually very long, but the catheter is what needs to stay behind in your patient. And the more of the catheter that is inside of the vein, the better that IV is going to be, and, and the longer it's going to last with things like shearing forces as your patient moves their arm. So although you may be inclined to start an IV at a very shallow angle because you're thinking, oh, I want it to run parallel to the vein, I want to be able to get in there, you actually want to start your IV, and I'm gonna turn it a little bit sideways here, you wanna start your IV by piercing the skin more at a 40 degree angle. And then as soon as you get that flashback, that's when you're going to drop your angle to a lower angle, insert a little bit further, and then slide your, your catheter off the hub. Remember, a lot of this catheter and this needle is going to be in your patient's skin, in their subcutaneous tissue before it ever reaches that vein. So you need to make sure that we are not taking a lot of space up with this needle in the skin. Otherwise, we're going to end up with just a little bit inside our vein, and that can lead to infiltration. It could lead to complete dislodgement with your patient moving their arm and other complications along those lines.